Hello there! Today we're going to learn how you can round corners in different vector objects, different shapes using Affinity Designer version 2. If this is your first time here, please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel. I post new tutorials every week. Alright, by the end of this tutorial I will also show you some unique use of corner tool. Not many people know about this trick. So let's get started with basics. Here I am in Affinity Designer, that's version 2. I will draw a simple shape. Let's start with just square. All right. Here it is. We can round corners directly from this bar at the top. There's a corner section where you can simply pull this slider, push it all the way here. You can make it into circle if you push it too far. As you can see, the corners are rounded, all four of them. Can you see this orange control box here? If you drag this orange point, you will do the same thing, but directly from the shape. So you have a little bit more control on that process. All right, keep in mind, that's a base rounded corner, but you can change the style of it. You can have a straight one as well. Take a look. Same thing, but now we got straight corner. There's also the one that is kind of negative one going inside the shape. That's really nice retro vintage look. And we got cut out at the end. So we're like cutting out the corner. All right. So that's how we can round the corners. That's very basic use. But what if you want to round only one corner, right? Or maybe two. So let's try again. This time we're going to use a corner tool, not this corner option from the top. So I will grab the proper tool. It's over here at the very top of the tool panel. Corner tool. And with this tool, you can just grab one corner and you can round that one corner. You can control the value. Just keep in mind, we need to have a corner tool selected and then you can control this from the slider at the top as well. As you can see, it's locked on 50 pixels. Don't worry, we can override that from the keyboard. Let's give 150, enter, and that's all right. We can also modify the style. So we can cut it like this, negative one, or cut out. All will work here as well. If you now play with another corner, you can mix two different styles in one shape. That's how I always do the shield shape, by the way. Take a look. I grab my rectangle corner tool and I select two corners at the top, same time. Move them inside and then I turn them negative with corner tool. Like that. And then the two corners at the bottom of the shape, I drag them all the way up. And this way I end up with kind of shield shape very quickly using just a corner tool. So as you can see, it's really universal tool. It's not only to round corners, but also to build new shapes like this one. Of course, you can apply this to any given shape. For example, triangle. Now we can grab this. I can select all nodes in one time if I want to round them all together like this of course i can then later on select one only and modify this as well all right i just move this node so undo i'll go back to corner tool and again i will use that only on one corner so just keep in mind as you notice the tool like to switch back to the node tool while you're clicking on nodes so you must always check that the corner tool is selected. Without that, we cannot modify the radius. So as you can see, we got another interesting result. That's how you can round corners. You can use any vector shape. You can use the top bar here if you plan to round all of the corners. Or you can simply use the tool if you plan to round just one or two corners. You can route opposite corners like this. All right, that's simple enough. What is this secret feature I mentioned at the beginning? All right, not many people know that you can actually use this corner tool 
on the artboard itself. To do that, we need to use artboard tool first. So let's click on the artboard tool. We will insert artboard. First time you insert artboard, you are actually just unlocking already existing one. Then you will be able to use corner tool on your artboard. Take a look. You can have an artboard with rounded corners. So if you are designing for some kind of interface with rounded corners, this will be really, really helpful. I hope this tutorial was somehow helpful and I will see you in the next video. Bye.